it's information overload now. So if you're in information overload mode, where do you start? And that's where I try to help anyone I talk to and explain, hey, I've gotten a sense of you through the resume and the interview. I'm going to give you two, maybe three things, and that's it. And only those two or three things and don't go boil the ocean, right? To get the foundations. But the other piece I always encourage people on is like your home lab, man, it doesn't have to be what I would build. It doesn't have to be what the people on my team would build. It doesn't need to be the stuff that my new hire was doing, right? Um, diff, you know, different strokes for different folks. If, if you're nerding out on development and coding and that's your jam, cool. Start playing with that and you may start on something that's not even security related, despite the security degree, get partway through the process and start seeing all of the different ways that you could apply a cybersecurity perspective and that discipline and some tool sets to your work as a developer, right? So it's, you kind of got to pick your own journey and the easiest, best way I can tell people to do it is whatever you are naturally inclined to go nerd out on, whatever puts, you know, energy back in your batteries. Just go do that and don't worry about the rest.